Hello, welcome to a new lesson of Mandarin. There is a lot of knowledge to take in. Did you practice a lot? Now we are going to the new lesson. Today we are going to talk about the spelling rules. Spelling rules are some rules that we should abide by when write the syllables. So the rules are applied to syllables, not for initials or finals. Now let's take a look at them. Rule number one: When there is no initial before the final u, or a final starting with u in a syllable, we add the initial e. Before the final, the two dots above the u are dropped. As you can see here, u becomes u. The final u changed to the initial e and the final u, and the two dots above u are dropped. Also, you can see here, u becomes u is also the same. The initial e is added. And the two dots of u are dropped. Rule number two: When there is no initial before the final e, we add the initial e before the final. As you can see here, e becomes e. We added the initial e to the final e, forming a syllable. Rule number three: When there is no initial before a final starting with e, we change the final e into the initial e. As we can see here, yao becomes yao. The first final is e, then we change the final e into the initial e. Also, we can find that yo. Becomes yo, the final e is changed into the initial e. Rule number four: When there is no initial before the final u, we add the initial u before the final. It's quite simple and the same as the final e actually. So here we can find. That the final u becomes the combination of the initial u and the final u. Rule number five: When there is no initial before a final starting with u, we change the final u into the initial u. This part is also the same as the final e. So here. You can see the finals starting with the u. They are all changed into the initial u. The compound final wa becomes the syllable wa. The compound final y becomes the syllable y. The compound final one becomes the syllable one, and the last one one becomes the syllable one. Rule number six: When the final u or a final starting with u is preceded by j, ch, x, the two dots above u are dropped. As you can see here, when u is added after j, ch, x, the two dots are missing, so the syllables are j. U G C U C C U C C U C C U C C U C Okay, that's the rules we need to learn in this lesson to help you understand better. Now I need you to take a test right away. Please write the syllables according to the spelling rules. 
you should pause the video for about two minutes, and when you finish the test, continue playing this lesson. No cheating. I will be giving the answers shortly. Now, pause the video. Okay, I assume you paused the video. Now, let's take a look at the answers. It's your time to check the answers. If you got them 100% correct, then congratulations. If not, then you should find out which one is not and go back to the rule again to have a better understanding. If you got any questions related to this, just ask me on WeChat or WhatsApp. Now we are looking at another quiz. It's your assignment. There are six syllables here, but they are all incorrect, so you should change them into the correct form to abide by the rules. It's quite easy, and if you finished the assignment, submit them to my WeChat or WhatsApp. That's the lesson for today. These rules are important when you start writing the syllables, so you should bear them in mind. In terms of homework, for students attending the online classes, you should hand in the homework in the class group. For students watching these videos online, please add me on WeChat or WhatsApp to get instructions. See you in the next lesson.